All right, in this video we're going to talk about oxidative phospho relation and chemiosmosis. Now, um, I made a slight mistake in the last video, and let me draw this out real quick. This is just a review from the last video, and so I can show you what mistake I made. We have NADH being oxidized to NAD+. Plus. And it's going to leave us with hydrogen proton plus two electrons through this process we're going to coenzyme Q and that's going to leave us with some energy here and then it's going to continue to get oxidized it's going to leave us with cytochrome C and we'll have two electrons plus two hydrogens plus one oxygen since it's O2 I'm drawing it as one half just like I did in the last video and this is going to be reduced to H2O, which is water. So we've oxidized NADH, and this whole process goes through oxidation, and then we've given off some energy here as well. And at the end, we're going to reduce, so we have oxygen present, we're going to reduce oxygen to water and we're going to use this energy here to help transfer some hydrogen protons the mitochondria and I'm not going to draw all this out again but essentially what I'm doing here is I'm looking at this little space so we have the outer membrane so we have the outer membrane here we're going to have the inner membrane space here so this is inside the mitochondria so we have inner here and we're going to have these little protein complexes that are going to use up that energy that we used in that oxidation of NADH. So we're going to end up with some hydrogen protons here. So we got some more hydrogen. That kind of looks like nitrogen there, but that's hydrogen. That's going to make this more acidic. And we're going to make the matrix a little bit more basic those hydrogens want to get back in here and balance out this charge so we have positive this is a little bit more positive this is a little bit more negative so we have a, a electrical gradient there positives and negatives and so those hydrogens want to get back in and balance that out and in the process they're going to help generate some some ATP so we have that membrane space. I'm getting to the point where I made the mistake last time. So I've got an axle here driving, and I'm not going to describe ATP synthase again, and that's where I made the mistake. I said last time that this was ATP ACE, but this is ATP synthase. So ATP synthase would help take those phosphates 
and com or a phosphate and combine it with ADP and make ATP. And I said ATPase, which is actually breaking down ATP to ADP. So anyway, I just want to clarify that I meant ATP synthase. I got going too fast and made a mistake there. So we have some hydrogens here, and these are the same hydrogens we're referring to here. So we have these protein complexes that will take the hydrogens from the matrix and over to the outer membrane space, and then those hydrogens want to come back, and in the process, they're going to help make energy. So they come in here, and if this was a turbine, they're going to help turn it, and so we have adenosine and two phosphates here and so let's say there's another phosphate here and they're going to help um, make ATP and that's where oxidative phosphorylation happens so this is oxidative phosphorylation. We're indirectly using NADH to make ATP. So that's oxidative phosphorylation. Let's compare that to substrate. Let me undo that real quick so that you can see it. Substrate phosphorylation. Whereas with that, we're actually producing ATP directly. So ATP directly and glycolysis. And so we're using an enzyme here to facilitate the production of ADP to ATP. So that's substrate phosphorylation. We're using an enzyme to help create ATP, and that happens in glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. Whereas oxidative phosphorylation is indirect, meaning it doesn't directly create the ATP it does it indirectly oxidizing and that's where the oxidative part comes from Oxid, oxidizing this NADH in the high energy state down to a lower energy state with water and in the process those hydrogens use ATP synthase to get back over to the matrix this being the matrix and they help turn this axle which helps create ATP indirectly so they the NADH help get the hydrogens over here and then the hydrogens used ATP synthase to get back into the matrix from the outer membrane so this is the same outer membrane they're trying to get back across and indirectly make ATP so that's oxidative phosphorylation so oxidative phosphorylation so, and this whole process right here is chemiosmosis. So when these hydrogens go through here through ATP synthase, they're going through chemiosmosis and indirectly helping generate ATP. So oxidative phosphorylation is the oxidative part right here, breaking down NADH to a lower energy state, releasing energy so that those hydrogens can go across because uh, they can't get through this membrane, so the hydrogens go across and then they want to get back across and in the, process go through, in, in the process they go through chemiosmosis to get through here and they help turn this axle and help generate ATP and anytime you take a phosphate group and add it back to ADP that is phosphorylation. So there, there's where um, 
that's our breakdown here. So we have oxidative phosphorylation and kinesiosmosis and how they work together. So one last time to review, NADH is being oxidized to a lower energy state. And in that process, you're taking these hydrogen uh, protons over to the other side. And they want to get back across. So the hydrogen protons are going to the outer membrane, from the inner to the outer membrane. They want to get back to the matrix. And they go through chemiosmosis to do that. And in the process, they turn this axle in ATP synthase. And that is phosphorylation, making ATP from ADP. So I hope that helped clarify things. and that you saw my last mistake, it is not ATPase, it's ATP synthase. We're trying to synthesize ATP from ADP. And I hope that helps you make sense of the oxidative phosphorylation and chemiosmosis in ATP production. And this is all found in the electron transport chain. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.